Hello everyone. Today, I want to give you a quick overview of a few features that are included in the 2020 Release Wave 1 of Dynamics 365 sales. Simplified experiences for sellers and admins and forecasting improvements. Sellers want to focus their time on building successful customer relationships and winning deals. In 2020 Wave 1, we're introducing a number of enhancements that remove unnecessary friction and make Dynamics 365 sales easier to use. Let's see how a few of these simplified experiences work. Here, we have an opportunity, but without anything to sell. From the Product Line Items tab, we can add products, and we can see new pop-up that lists our products. From here, you can search by keyword, product family, or pre-selected product bundles. And once you've found the products you're looking for, click on the plus sign, select the quantity, and the price. You can also search from Recently Used Product tab for commonly sold items. And at any time, you can dive into the details on each product. Or click on the product name to expand the record. This is especially useful when you're comparing similar products. And you can always write in custom products where you set the description, the quantity, and the price. Once you're done searching for and adding products, use the Selected tab to review your collection of products. And when you're satisfied, add them to the opportunity. Another area of simplification is the ability to save documents as PDFs on your sales tenant or to SharePoint. You no longer have to download the PDF to your local device and then store it. When you're viewing your quote or any of the entities that you've selected to have this feature, select Create PDF, select the template, and here you see the new option where you decide whether to store your PDF in SharePoint, your tenant, or download it. If you select Save, it's stored in the SharePoint location associated with this record. So. When we go to the related documents, we can see our quote summary. When there is no SharePoint associated with the record, the document saves into the Dynamics tenant, and the document can be accessed from the timeline of that record. Another area that we've simplified is sorting and searching through opportunities and actions. In addition to the standard list of your opportunities, you now have Kanban views sorted by sales process, or by opportunity status. The opportunity data on these cards can be edited directly. From these views, you can drag and drop an opportunity from one column to another. But when you do, you'll be required to fill out the fields that you've defined as necessary before moving the opportunity to the next phase. We've also simplified sorting and searching through the activities. You can view them all in the list view, sort by due date or by type, and then dive into the details on each task. When you close the detail view, your task is still on your list. And if this list view isn't to your liking, well, you have the option of a calendar view of your tasks by day, week, or month. And the Kanban view of tasks by status, where you can configure the information shown on each card and drag and drop the cards to change their status. For administrators, we've simplified the system admin experience by co-locating sales feature configuration settings and providing an overview page that explains what each feature section covers. If we want to configure converting content to PDF documents, we click Manage and select which content we will allow to be exported as PDF files. With the Dynamics 365 sales, 2020 Release Wave 1, we're also including a number of forecasting improvements. We'll talk more about accuracy improvements in the Sales Insights video. Right now, let's look at what we've done for formatting and filtering. We'll start with forecasting support for different organizational structures. You have the option to create forecasts based on territory or reporting hierarchy. Let's create an org chart based forecast using the template wizard. We start on the general page and select the individual at the top of the hierarchy. We set the time frame and we see our quota by hierarchy, which is great 
but we really need to add some security to this forecast so that access is limited to the people who really need to know. From our forecast wizard, we select the specific security roles that will be allowed to see this forecast, in this case, the delicate role. And to make this forecast more useful, we'll add columns from the options set. And we'll reorganize the columns so the information that we want is first. And we'll remove a couple extra columns. We'll add a calculated column, combining one and committed, and drag and drop it next to the quota. We'll also add a filter, selecting decision maker equals completed, to make sure that our committed opportunities are real. We'll activate the forecast, and here it is on our list of active forecasts. Now let's do a bulk update to the quotas in this forecast. We start by downloading our data into Excel. We change a quota or two, save, and here's our forecast. With conditional formatting in the form of visual bars showing how far along all of the sellers are. We just did a bulk edit with Excel, but sometimes you only need to adjust one or two values. So let's go into Brendan's committed opportunities. Dive into his list and we'll adjust the estimated revenue on one customer upwards and the change updates. We could also edit just a single value and explain our reasoning so everyone can see it in the opportunity history. And we can make updates by shifting to the Kanban view, dragging and dropping an opportunity from one status to another. As you've seen, the 2020 Wave 1 update to Dynamics 365 sales provides you with simplified experiences for sellers and admins and forecasting improvements in both accuracy and formatting. For more information, use these specific links or go to the release overview guide.